hi guys welcome back to my channel this is t of t's corner so if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face please do make sure to subscribe to my channel trust me you love it over here and if you're an old subscriber you're an og thank you for coming back thank you for even coming back to watch my videos you guys i've missed you guys so much okay i know it's been a while since i came down here to you know talk to you guys and just just and give you an update you guys there's a whole lot i need to unpack what has this girl been up to for this few months that she's been away where did she go to what has she been doing like you guys this this is a video you want to watch this is see okay i'm going to give you all the happiness all the gist everything i've been up to this past few months why i stayed off youtube why i came everything trust me you want to watch this video okay without any further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> changes just life happenings basically and i've just not been in that space i think mentally i just not been in that space where i want to share now i think i'm in a better space so i'm open to sharing more okay so let me give you guys like the lowdown of what's been going on for the past three months all right guys so um first update on you guys i left my job I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> In this economy, you guys, I fucking left. I left my job. Like, I resigned from my place of work, which was actually the first place I ever worked officially. Um, so yeah, that was like a big deal. At least I've been there for. I was there for almost three years. You guys, almost three years, fam. I can't believe I stayed there for that long. So you guys, yeah, I resigned. I got a new job. Of course, I got a new job. That's why I resigned. Because there's no way I'm going to resign without getting a new job. No, not happening. Anyways, <laughs> you guys, I got a new job. So I had to resign from my old place of work. And it was kind of like a big deal. But now thinking about it, not so not so much as a big deal. But then it felt like a big deal to me. Because that was like the first time I ever like resigned from a place. Tender my resignation officially, you guys. So that happened. I kid you not. Moving from your comfort zone to a new place where you don't know anybody, you have no friends, you, know, you don't know anybody there, you don't know how the structure of the company is like. You guys, it's a whole lot. I think people don't talk about it enough. Like, it's a whole lot. Like, it takes a toll on you because you're the new person. So, you have to keep trying to get used to a whole, whole different people trying to find your way trying to find your footing trying to get a bit more balanced and relaxed you guys it's not easy i'm not going to lie so yeah that happened and for me i'm not even a big fan of change like if you know me personally you know i don't really like change okay i'm not a fan of change i like things the way they are i like i like my little routine little schedule i don't like things changing okay so for me filming was not even like top priority i'm not going to lie so basically for the past two months I've just been adulting. I'm not going to lie, like, as I gradually get used to, you know, my new life, my new schedule, my new routine, new people, new place, new everything. So, yeah, as I started getting used to it, I just kind of took time to just find a balance, okay? Because my job now is different from what I was doing earlier. Like, it's totally different. So, it was like a different role. So, I kind of had to find my footing, okay, in that new role because it's more it's more taxing okay than whatever i was doing before it takes its own emotional toll on you i'm not going to lie so yeah i just kind of had to find that balance and even till now i don't think i found the balance i don't think i'll ever find the balance but i think it's way better than it was so i think gradually it get better or you just get better at handling shit than you used to i guess so aside from that like i also had exams like i don't know if you guys know i'm doing my master's program so actually I had exams um in may or so so yeah i had to like read for that and if you know me i wasn't serious about my master's program i've not been serious like it's still ongoing it's still running like i've been like the most unserious student and you know what's what is so surprising about it is the fact that when i was my undergraduate i used to be very serious like i would go for classes i used to take my classes seriously assignments i used to carry things on my head but i wasn't like obvious i wasn't a geek or a nerd but I would say I was a serious student, but I always act like I wasn't too serious. But I was actually serious. I took all these assignments, attendance, those shit. Like, like I used to take it seriously. Or, like I didn't like missing class. But now that I'm doing my master's program, it's like a whole different ball game, you guys. Like 
the TLC of 2015 and TLC now totally different. Like the way I do not care is alarming and it's a problem. Okay, I said I was going to change this semester, but I've gotten worse. Like last semester, I was even better. Okay, this semester I've gotten worse, you guys. So last semester exams came up. I actually had to like you know last minute reading. If you're a new lab student, you went to your lab. You know how we do exam period. I just tried to cram like a whole lot in two weeks. That's literally what I did. And you guys, I burned out. I felt like I was going to die because I was not used to it anymore. I wasn't used to reading like that kind of jacking kind of reading. Like I read but not that hard, fam. Like you guys, I wasn't used to it. Like waking up in the midnight trying to catch up on a lot and the thing is i had to catch up on so much in a very short time frame you guys it was barely a week i did not take a leave from work so literally i was just like working trying to do uh, a new job that was trying to like find my footing plus exams that i knew i could not afford to fail regardless not like i had to like pass like yeah but i didn't want to be average so i had to you know put in a bit of effort but I had a new job, I was trying to catch up on so it was just a lot. Like, the month of May was terrible for me, you guys. It was terrible. Like, I, I was just, it was May, June ish. Like, I was just not, not there mentally. I was just frustrated. But basically, I just feel like spending time with family, going out, trying to socialize. Okay. Like, I feel like socializing in Lagos is like, ah, oh, I don't know if I'm, I feel like I'm wasting my youth sometimes. I don't know. It, yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm actually wasting my youth. I'm like, okay, seriously, at this age, if you don't want to go out, why will you not want to go out? Like, is it where you are 40? Because usually, you get, I go out to, I socialize, with, but for me, it's like a big deal. Like, I will just be in bed, like, all day, pressing my phone, watching TV, just wasting the day, and just relaxing my back, and stretching, and just doing my own thing that actually socializing like guys i feel like there's this pressure to always want to go out because you're young and when you open your phone your instagram your snapchat everybody just like bah, 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 bah. everybody just like out so is that the wedding this was like this was i'm like what happened like i might know a youth again because i don't understand my lifestyle sometimes but usually i tried and like this past few months i i think i tried I don't know. I think I tried this past few months. I think I've spent like I spent like a bit of time with family. Even though like I should not lie, I could have done better. But not like I did not miss my family. I miss them like almost every time. You guys even alone, it's not been it's okay. So yeah, I miss them a lot of times. But just like a lot that been happening, I've never had time for myself enough to want to like take out time to go and visit. But yeah, I did that. Like I went to visit my family once in a while. My nephew, most especially. I think like when I see my family now, I miss my sister too. But the person that comes to my head, like, is my nephew, because I just love that boy so much. Like, you guys have no idea. So, anytime I, I miss him, I just want to go. But yeah, I went a few times. Like, he did his one year old birthday in June, and that was fun. That was actually a very fun day. I actually went to vlog that day for you guys. <laughs> Hosting a party when you're doing hosting a party, like your family is the one doing a party, it's different from when you just come and they invite you and you come and eat and go. Like, I tried to vlog from the beginning, it was also a rush, like, we were just rushing to do a lot, like, it was just impossible. Like, I was trying to do my makeup, myself, I was trying to do my makeup. Everybody was mad at each other, like, my sisters and I were just angry at each other at different times, like, you guys, it was a disaster. But actually, it was actually a very fun party, but because we were the one that hosted it, maybe we were stressed. But it was actually a very fun party. Like people had fun. My friends that came around, people that came around, they had a blast. Like it was a really cool party. I'm going to start some clips because why not? Okay. So yeah, that was fun. That happened. When I think about my future, I just get mad anxiety, and I'm always thinking about my future because why not? Everybody thinks about the future. So because of that, like mad anxious about a lot of things. Okay, okay. What if this doesn't work out? What if this doesn't? What if this doesn't happen? What do I do? Where's my next move? Just been a lot of pressure on me. I'm not going to lie. I just put like a, a lot of pressure on me. I don't even think it's me putting pressure on myself. I think it's society putting pressure on us. Okay, I just want to breathe, like breathe. Like every, I feel like every aspect of my life, when it comes to my relationship, uh, my relationships with people, everything work um everything is just gives me mad anxiety i don't like the uncertainty i guess life is uncertainty at the end of the day but i don't know i'm just anxious like my anxiety level has gone off the roof like 
no jokes and it was actually affecting me my productivity my mood everything i just knew i needed to like relax and chillax okay. so because of that i thought you know well, why not what do i do so you guys I, I now went online no okay i went online i saw yoga i said fine how dare you do this yoga i went on youtube blah 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 yoga i tried it it never make me it never make any difference in my mood like how that was a feel to start with so i thought oh it's okay meditating hmm nice idea let's try meditating guys mm, i'm not going to like spoil it for people that have not tried it it works it works in the moment but you have to constantly like practice it constantly do it remember your uh, words of affirmation and stuff like that just to get yourself feel like you can't sit i'm not going to like when i did it i feel good like while doing it uh, for like the next hour like i felt good but after that of course you think you have you think because you're a human being you're constantly thinking, thinking your mind is constantly working and things are constantly happening to you so you now when something's happening you're not remembering i am courage i am nice all, all those things just goes out of your head i'm not going to lie <laughs> it goes out of your head and you're just like you're back to panicking you're back to panic mode you're back to being anxious you're back to be stressed again so i guess it works in the moment like it's just something to relieve your stress at the moment it works i'm not going to lie i feel good when i did it when i tried it i actually feel good it relaxed me a bit like for the next hour i was good so yeah uh, i feel like i made like a, some big girl moves this past few months and maybe that's why i was like extra stressed because i was not thinking oh did you make a mistake maybe you should have done this maybe i should just play the cool maybe you should have just Play the safe like always, like as usual. But then it is what it is, okay? So you guys, I will have been up to well you know, I've just been adulting, living like you guys, um adapting to change, just basically living, trying to adapt to change, trying to adult. You guys, adulting is no jokes. Like if you're young I remember as a young girl, like as a teenager, like I usually would try to count my age very fast so when i was 14 i'll be claiming i'm 15 when i'm 15 i'll be claiming i'm 16 like once it's a new year january my birthday is in august though no no august once it's january 1st i start counting the age of that year that's how much i was so anxious about growing up i wanted to grow up so fast like now when i remember how much i used to try to just want to be a grown adult or just want to i'm just like Babe, you should have calmed down now. If I knew this what it was all about, I would have calmed down and enjoyed myself. Okay, you guys, like it's no jokes. Like if you're a teenager and you're watching my video, or you are young and watching my video, just live in the moment, enjoy it. Like be stupid, do stupid shit, do whatever you want to. I don't say you should kill yourself or you should wish your life, but live your life, like enjoy, live in that moment. Okay, stop trying to overdo. You're a child, you have people paying your bills. Like taking care of you, all you need to do is go to school. Enjoy it because it will last. And at some point, you have to man up, woman up, whatever. Adult, you have to adult. Adult is no jokes. Like, I kid you not. It is no jokes. Okay, at some point, you'll be independent and you have to fend for yourself, take care of yourself, make grown up decisions for yourself because at the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck. It's not like nobody gives a fuck, but at the end of the day, you have parents, you have friends, whatever, whatever, you have family. Of course, they care about you. But there's some decisions you would have to make for yourself and good or bad you have to live with the consequences okay so yeah all in all i think i've had like good days bad days crazy days fun days terrible days annoying days but i've had like really cool days sometimes i just go to work come back and yeah just at four just be cool just be chilling i know i'm making it sweet like sound like a sweet deal but it wasn't all that all the time i've had frustrating days as well so yeah i've just been like adulting living trying to do a lot sometimes feeling like i'm not doing enough feeling tired most of the time i don't know how to put it from but i feel like i feel tired a lot of times and I'm sometimes to add on myself trying to plan trying to be strategized the reason for the long days is that i'm officially back to constantly uploading thanks for sticking with me i just want to say a big thank you to everybody that came back to watch this video because i know it's been a minute and i'm like where did this girl go to why should i even care about her long days why should i care about she shall let her not tell us what she was going to i'm sorry okay you guys i'm sorry and if you came back to watch my videos like I love you thank you for coming to watch this video thank you for everyone watching to this point where you are watching me tell you thank you it means a lot to me 
I appreciate you. I appreciate you a whole lot. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe, subscribe, okay? You know you want to be you want to be here. You want to be on this guy, you want to be on this sweet, okay? What is happening? <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thanks for stopping by. Bye.